Tony D and Lil Joan, and this is a screenwriter's rant on three movies, The Teacher's Lounge, a drama, um, Mind Wash, a thriller, which kind of looks like a drama too, and Trunked Locked In, which is definitely a thriller. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 13, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. It's freezing. I'm, I'm very chilly, uh, but I've been drinking iced tea all night. Right, Joan? We're, we're, we're trying to cozy up here. Brr. Cold night in South Jersey. Um, tomorrow, uh, the cold, during the cold day, I will be in Tom's River for the Cabin Fever Show. It is held at the Tom's River Elk Lodge in Tom's River, New Jersey, coincidentally, from 10 to 4. So come out to that. Well, actually, you're seeing this while it's going on. So I am there now, and I'll be back for the live stream later today at 7. Okay, so this is called Teacher's Lounge. It doesn't seem to really be about a teacher's lounge. It's in German, so it's kind of tough to figure out what the actual problem is here there seems to be some problem with uh, a teacher and a kid and I'm not sure who's the one at fault here whether the teacher's done something wrong or she's actually trying to help the kid who's in trouble for some reason you say stuff like the the child is confused well, that can mean a lot of things uh, she goes too far by spying on the parents. It's also in Germany, so I'm not sure what the rules are in Germany in terms of teachers and kids. She also gives the kids scream therapy, which seems stupid and weird. She encourages the kids to scream, and they all scream in the class. Okay, not sure you want to do that, but okay. Um, so, hard to tell. Well, let's read the write-up. When one of her students is suspected of theft, well, that seems minor, teacher Carla Nowak decides to get to the bottom of the matter. Caught between her ideals and the school system, the consequences of her actions threaten to break her. Oh, that seems like a very low-stakes uh, kind of thing, but uh, that's okay. Direction by, boy, Ilker Katak. That is quite a name. Uh, let's see if they have a screenwriting credit. This is Germany, so I might have the credits in a different order here. Hmm, yeah, I'm not totally figuring it out here. Oh, there it is. Screenplay by Johannes Dunker and Ilka Katak. <laughs> it sounds like, watch out or you'll be Ilka Katak. Um, PG-13. I, I guess it's okay. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, so it's only theft? All right, so first act. Um, I guess she catches the student stealing and then has to investigate why he stole. I don't know. Joan, settle down. Um, but uh, she's trying to help him and goes too far. The mother doesn't like her over enthusiasm here she is reporting it to her superior and uh, then they get into a fracas between and this is pretty common in America between you know an idealistic teacher who wants to help a student who's maybe in a dysfunctional situation and parents who just say just just you know babysit my kid I have seen that um, so this seems pretty grounded in reality, at least on that score. The end, it's kind of tough to tell. It's pretty muddled in the fact that it's subtitled, and uh, it, it's kind of difficult to parse. It's not a very good trailer. Um, you know, the stakes aren't clear here, and they should be. Always make the stakes clear in your trailer, I would say. Calls it a drama thriller? Over theft? That, that doesn't seem like much of a thriller to me. It seems like you need higher stakes for that. Uh, number two is Mind Wash. This is about a motivational speaker who 
who doesn't take his own advice. Now, this is a very common thing. You have people who like to give advice, me being one of them, uh, and then they sometimes don't take their own advice because they're good at giving it sometimes, or they at least they think they are. So, uh, again, kind of an unclear trailer. In flashback, his dad tells him to tell people what they want to hear. So for a, motivable, a motivational speaker, he goes with the line like, uh, when's the last time you thought for yourself? Are you thinking for yourself? Are you doing, are you getting what you want? This is typical with motivational speakers, I think. They don't really have any answers. They're more of like a professional pep talkers. So it reminds me a little bit of that uh, movie that Tom Cruise did for Magnolia Pictures, a little bit of that. Only that was a little, that was different. That wasn't a motivational speaker. It was more about a guy who was motivating, but only men. Um, so this looks like a small film. I guess it could be good. Again, the stakes are unclear. I think it has to do with his relationship. <laughs> with his girlfriend. Sorry, these are kind of boring movies. Um, except the last one. The last one's pretty cool. Um, first act, I don't know. He's given motivational speak, speeching engagements and uh, he's having problems in his relationship and then he meets a girl outside of that. Maybe he hooks up with her. Meanwhile, his relationship struggles with this woman. But eventually, maybe he takes his own advice. I don't know. Kind of hard to say. Let's see what the write-up says. Think for yourself. Billy seldom becomes a global sensation when a catastrophic event hits the world. He soon spirals into self-destruction while his codependent relationship with his girlfriend, Natalie, also takes a hit. Okay, well, I didn't really get that from the trailer. A global sensation and a catastrophic event hits the world. I, I don't see it. There's, there's none of that mentioned in this trailer. And you really ought to mention that. And that would be easy to do. A voiceover, you know. I sure, I'm sure there's like a news report about the guy. If he's a global sensation, it'd be something like, Global sensation, Billy Seldom. Uh, spoke spoke tonight to a sold out crowd of 50,000 people. Uh, it's easy enough to do. And in terms of the cat catastrophic event, uh, yeah, give us a hint of that too. You don't have to tell us what it is, but give us something. Uh, she's cute though. Eh, it just seems like a drama. It doesn't seem like a thriller to me. Again, the stakes are unclear. And finally, Trunk locked in. Another movie that seems to be German. Uh, so, uh, it's about a woman who's locked in a trunk. She gets kidnapped. And then she calls for help. And it's about her and the 911 operator trying to figure out her exact location and surviving in the trunk and doing things inside the trunk. You know, this is what they call an elevator pitch when the character's trapped in a location. and Because a lot of times it's an elevator and this... In this case, it's a trunk. Although they have some interesting shots of her looking outside and the cars chasing them. So it seems pretty intense for a movie that takes place mostly in a trunk. It's a clever device to keep the movie fairly low budget. So here's, here's she peers out the back of the trunk. I think she knocks out one of the lights and she can see you know, the guy driving keeps avoiding everything. So, uh, I kind of like this. Um, first act, she's kidnapped or wakes up in the trunk, calls 911, and then the movie's starting to roll. And maybe in flashback we see how she got there or get hints of it. Then it's about her doing various things in the trunk. They try to locate her or they can't locate her or her location keeps moving. Uh, she keeps trying to tell details about where she are, things she hears. She hears rain. She smells things. She pokes out a light. and um, Maybe a cop stops the guy, but then the guy kills him or runs away. 
you know, lots of different things like that, like little teases back and forth all through the second act. And the third act, she comes up with a plan to escape. Maybe she's going to pop the trunk and jump out and take her chances on the road, something like that. Uh, but it looks like at the end, the trunk gets popped and she she gets to see who kidnapped her. I don't think she knows. And then that's horrifying. The end, I think she lives. I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say she lives in this. So it's a thriller. I think it could be decent. It's, it seems well paced. All right, here's the write-up. Melina wakes up disoriented in the trunk of a speeding car and discovers to her horror that she's missing more than her memory. With her mobile phone, the only link to the outside world, she wages a desperate battle for survival. The other big twist could be that she spends the whole movie talking to the driver and doesn't know it. Like he pretends or she pretends to be the uh, 911 operator the whole time. I, I think that's a bit of a cheat, but here she is at the end getting out of the trunk. So I would watch this. Seems pretty solid. Um, you know, what little money they spent, they could actually spend big money. Because most of it's just in a damn trunk. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, let's rate these three movies. So we got uh, Trunk Locked In, Mind Wash, and Teacher's Lounge. Uh, well, not really much of a mystery here. I mean, at the bottom is Teacher's Lounge. I, I, I barely grasp what the hell this movie's about. It doesn't seem like a thriller. It seems like more of a school drama. Um... Uh, Plus, it's in Germany, so I don't know the school system. I I think it's going to be tough to understand. Um, but uh, maybe if I heard it was good and it was on Netflix. Sometimes Netflix picks up really good foreign movies. Mind Wash looks like an okayish. This would be number two, an okayish indie movie. Maybe it's got some good ideas. It's if it does, it's kind of missing from the trailer. It really needed to do more with this trailer. I think. Uh, to get a get across the concepts, uh, some of them seem to be missing. But other than that, eh, maybe it could be good. But definitely far and away the best of these three is Trunk Locked In. Uh, it seems like a movie that Prime bought because it is in a foreign language. I think this is German too. Um, Should have got a third German movie for the third movie. That would have been cool. Three German movies. Um... So yeah, I would watch this. Seems decent. It is on Prime, so maybe I will. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. Uh, check us out at 7 o'clock tonight, unless I'm late, but I'd probably be okay. For the live stream, where we do it live, I will be at Tom's River at the Cabin Show, the uh, uh, Cabin Fever Show from 10 to 4 Sunday today in Toms River, New Jersey. So hope to see you then. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.